Hello my friends, welcome to Splendid Ideas with Maria. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this gorgeous artificial flowers tropiary tree. These are great to upgrade your interior decor in cheerful style. The best thing is, it requires no maintenance, water or sunlight. You can also make this to give someone as a housewarming gift for a wedding or any special occasion. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Now let's get creating. The first thing I did was take this planter that I had laying around in my garage and I painted it white. Next, I used an 8.7 inch foam ball and a 3 foot wooden dowel. I used my dowel to make a hole in my foam ball. I pushed it in as far as I could without coming out the other side and I'm going to use that as my guide to where I'm going to start gluing my flowers. I got these roses from uh, Michael's. They were $3 per bunch and each bunch uh, has 9 roses but you can get yours from Dollar Tree and save some money. I'm going to start by gluing my roses starting at the very top of my foam ball. I stick the stem of the flowers in the foam to make a small hole and then I'll fill it up with a little bit of hot glue and then I stick the flowers back in that way the rose will stay nice and secure and they will not fall. I cut each flower leaving the stem about 2 inches long and then I will continue gluing my flowers all the way on this side making sure that they are very close together so that there are no gaps and all the way on the other side the same way. Okay, this is what it looks so far. Now I will do the same thing on this side and the other side. Okay, this is what it's looking so far. Now I'm going to start filling in all the empty spaces.
here is my beautiful rose ball. It's so pretty. Now I'm going to cover my wooden dowel with green floral tape. Now this is how far it went inside the ball so I'm from this point on I'm gonna cover it with the uh, green tape. Now I'm going to use this ribbon it's green with white polka dots and I'm going to use it to decorate my planter. I'm just going to glue it on it with a little bit of hot glue. Next, I'm going to take this square foam that I got from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to glue a piece of cardboard to it. I'm not even going to remove the plastic on the uh, foam and then I'm going to glue the whole thing inside my planter. Now I'm going to take my wooden dowel and stick it right in the center of the foam and push it all the way down. Now to add some weight to my planter, I'm going to be adding some of these white rocks, but you can use pieces of brick, dirt, sand, whatever you have on hand. Oops, I forgot one very important step and that is before you stick in it, the wooden dowel in the um, foam, fill it in with hot glue. Now I'm going to take this piece of foam my husband cut to fit the sides of my planter and I'm going to slide it down my dowel. If you don't have a foam, you can use a piece of cardboard. Next, I'm gonna take some of the Spanish moss to cover the foam. Next, I'm going to take some of the leaves from my flowers and I'm going to insert them in the foam.
I'm also going to be adding these roses that I got from Michaels. They look so real and they were only about $1.19. Now I'm going to take a few more leaves and I'm going to glue them on the dowel to make it look more like a real tree and for this I will be using my floral tape. Next, I'm going to glue my rose ball to the wooden dowel and to do this, I'm going to fill the hole I made on the foam ball with hot glue and then I will slide in the ball down the dowel. Now I'm adding a few more leads here. Now I'm going to take some of these little white flowers that were also part of the rose bushes and I'm going to stick a few between the roses. Now as you can see I only added just a few just to give it a nice touch. For the final step I'm going to take this cute butterfly and I'm going to glue it here and this is optional you don't have to do that but I thought it would look cute. And here you have it a gorgeous rose topiary tree. It came out so beautiful. I made two of these because I'm planning on putting them in my living room. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the like button and share it with your friends. And if you're new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Have a blessed day.